guys are all doing well and having a great day. Today I wanted to come on here because I've been getting a lot of questions since I had Olivia, my first daughter, about how I got my post baby body. And this is going to be an important video because it's something that I'm passionate about. I understand that not everybody is passionate about fitness and everybody has their opinions about posting before and after pictures and some people aren't comfortable with it. And I just want to make it clear that this, again, is something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I wanted and it's something that I think a lot of moms out there might want and I mean even if you're not a mom it's something that you know might strike your interest and so I wanted to come on here and just give you guys some pointers and advice and just let you guys know what I did myself I've had a lot of people ask me like I said about what I did and I've helped a lot of people I've helped a lot of girls get to the point to where they they wanted to be physically and it's not all about appearance for me it wasn't all about appearance because as you know if you watch my other videos I have systemic lupus and so a lot of it was about building strength and becoming stronger and um, just making my entire body just feel healthy and nice and strong and so that was my main goal was to just build muscle and eliminate the majority of processed foods and everything that I was consuming just so I could be the healthiest that I could be in case I ended up in a situation where I was in the hospital or something again and I needed to just rely on my my current health to get me through whatever I was going through so it's funny because before I I, I turned on the camera I had somebody just text me about about which protein powder they should use and so like I said I have a lot of people a lot of my friends reaching out to me and they ask me questions you know what workout should I do what should I eat what protein powder do you take any supplements what do you drink you know how much cardio should you do and these are all things that you should take into consideration when you're when you're just looking to improve your health overall and especially when you want to look into fitness and stuff and so I've been a fitness guru almost um, for many many years it began when I was younger but um, through trial and error I finally figured out what works with the body and um, I just read a lot of scientific things that helped me understand you know if you do one thing your body's gonna have effect in a certain way and so again through trial and error that's how I learned and that's what I'll share with you guys because I would not feel comfortable telling you guys something if it wasn't something I personally have experienced and have had any type of experience with so where to begin so when I got pregnant, um, I would say the only type of really exercise that I did was taking walks every day. And that's what I'm doing with this pregnancy too. I'm just trying to make it more frequent. Um, with my last pregnancy, I kind of slowed down, especially towards the end. I mean, it's understandable you're pregnant. You're getting into the later stages of pregnancy and it's uncomfortable and such. And so this pregnancy I made it a goal to try to go on a walk every single morning if not four times a week if I can if I'm up to it if my body is absolutely telling me no then I do not do it I listen to my body completely and that is something that's super important when you are trying to develop your postpartum body because it takes nine months for your body to change in order to grow this human being and so it should take at least nine months for it to recover from going through that process. I mean, it's pretty traumatic. If you've ever been pregnant, if you've ever had a baby, you know how drastically your entire body changes. 
and it's something that you need to proceed with caution when you're trying to reach a certain point because a lot of moms um, out there they have a baby and they're like as soon as the baby's done I'm just gonna breastfeed I'm gonna lose all this weight I need to get on it and you know I need to get in my bikini body ASAP and honestly that's not Now that we're all charged up again, I'm going to start off where I was talking about, and I believe I was talking about breastfeeding and what you need to do in order to maintain, you know, breast milk and stuff for the baby. So you need to make sure to maintain a certain calorie level when you're breastfeeding. And it's very possible to get in shape, to lose weight, and still consume those calories. Um, a lot of mindset that people have is, you know, if I eat too much, I'm gonna gain weight and I'm gonna get fat. If I lift weights, I'm gonna get bulky and I'm gonna look like a guy. And these are a lot of misconceptions that women have. And I know this because I had those same misconceptions. And I, I used to be the girl that, you know, ate lettuce for lunch and for dinner and for breakfast. You know, that's all I ate. But over time, I learned. And what I learned was the more frequent you eat, the more your body metabolizes and the more it's able to process energy and that will give you the energy that's needed you know for your workouts for cardio for everything that you need to do but point is postpartum body when you're beginning start off slow start off with walking that's exactly what i did i i started with walking during pregnancy i continued walking after i had olivia and I did this all the way up until six weeks. After six weeks is when I got the doctor's approval to go ahead and, you know, start doing some more physical things. And that's important. You want to check with your doctor before you go, you know, you head back into the gym and, and you lift up these weights or you start something new, especially if you start a new exercise routine. You need to make sure your body is feeling okay. And if you are starting to feel sick during your workouts or anything, like if you come down with a cold or, or the flu or something, just even something minor, go ahead, take a day off, take a week off, whatever is needed. Your body is not going to make the transformation that you want it to if it's not 100% feeling up to par. So after the six weeks of walking, I started off with body weight. And another thing that people don't know is I achieved my transformation through at-home workouts. I did not go to the gym at all during this period of time. I do not have a gym membership at this time. My boyfriend and I moved to Oklahoma City and so we are in a very small town and we live in married housing and so I I didn't have a gym and I honestly I have a little baby now and so I could not bring the little baby with me to the gym and so during her naps I was sneaking a workout you know 5 10 15 20 minutes and that's all it took and I started off with body weight I did a lot of exercise with body weight and if you guys are interested, I'm more than happy to do an at-home workout during this time. I'm still going to be doing some workouts and maybe if you guys are interested, taking you through the experience of, you know, trying to obtain my postpartum body after this child is born. So I'd be happy to just show you guys what I did. And during this period of time, people think that it's, you know, it's more important to, to do cardio, to do your workouts. And I can honestly tell you from experience and from knowledge that it's so important to focus on what you're eating. I know your mindset is, you know, I need to go run three miles. I need to work out for two hours. Absolutely not. You could work out for 15, 20 minutes, four to six days a week. It, I mean, four days is plenty. You do not need to do the six. That's only if you're trying to up your skills. But if you do it for four days a week and you're eating 80% healthy, you're going to get the results that you want. And that's where a lot of people 
you know, they get a little messed up because they feel like they do have to spend hours in the gym in order to achieve a body and they feel like, you know, they're deprived and they can't really get to that point and they start to feel defeated. And it's really not that hard, even for somebody that's been doing fitness for a very long time, it's easy, it's not that hard to obtain the body that I did, you know, after having a baby. And I did that through 80% eat healthy. Eating healthy consists of clean eating. I also do gluten free, doesn't mean you have to. I personally do because I have an autoimmune disease. It means trying to drink as much water as you can. You know, they recommend a gallon a day if you're doing this stuff. If you can't, you know, try. You just get, just do your certain levels and what you can and slowly go up. You do not have to, you know, go from a half a cup of water in a day, which I hope you're not doing because you'd be severely dehydrated, <laughs> to, you know, a gallon instantly. Don't do that. Go ahead and work yourself up until you feel comfortable. You don't have to jump right into anything. And so it's very important you can go at your own pace and that is something that is critical when you are trying to do these workouts and everything and transform after having a baby. Because again, your muscles, they're all out of whack from spreading out and moving all over after making a little home for this child. And so that's what I was very cautious of. I knew that things were not set in place the way that they should, and so that is what I took the most time on was abdominal work, and to be honest, I do not do as much as abdominal work as a lot of people might think, because a lot of my movements, my at-home movements during my exercises consist of doing exercises on your legs, lower body, and what people don't know, when you do lower body exercises, your core muscles are targeted as well. So sometimes it's not even necessary to do that extra, you know, 500 sit-ups a day to get some abs. You know, that's not necessary when you're doing diverse movements that already target multiple parts of your body at once. And again, if you're interested, I can do an at-home video for you guys and just show you what I did. Again, it was like five to 20 minutes each time and only. And I did this specifically during the times that the baby napped. And so eating healthy is number one, absolutely number one. After having your baby, you know, six weeks to, to four months, eat, eat healthy. I mean, eat healthy all throughout the year, but at the same time, don't be so focused on having to do three hours in the gym and all these workouts because it's simply not necessary. I did not take any supplements. The only thing I invested in was my vegan protein powder. And that is something that I can post below if you guys are interested in as well. But to me, it's honestly, whatever you're trying to do to your body, that should match the protein powder that you are drinking. And again, you do not need protein powder. You can achieve these things without protein powder. And I did not take any supplements. I still, I think I still took my prenatal vitamin, but that was only to um, make sure I was healthy enough because again, I was providing breast milk for my child. And something that really helped me keep my calories up to par and I still felt healthy I didn't get that oh guilty I'm eating too much food I'm not gonna get to where I'm gonna be was I ate clean all day I had about six to seven little meals all day when I felt hungry I made my special I came up with a special recipe that me and Robbie both love and it's granola bars and it just has oatmeal, peanut butter, chia seeds, sometimes I'll switch it up, put cranberries, almonds, and oatmeal, if you don't know, increases your milk supply. And so I stuck these in the freezer. I had them every single week, every single day, and you can even put protein powder into the mixture as well. And this allowed me, again, to keep up with my calories and to also supply the milk for my baby. If you haven't really ate healthy before in your life 
and you're just beginning, I would suggest going into your cupboards, your pantry, your refrigerator right now and getting anything out that is processed. If you don't know what that is, look on the back. Anything that has more than five or six ingredients on it, throw it out. You don't need it. It's not going to do your body any good. It's going to actually set you back majority of the time if it's store bought already made and it's you know stick it in the oven stick it in the microwave and it's done it's not really good for you look into foods that you can easily make at home everything that I make I am I must admit it I'm one of those Sunday meal preppers and let me tell you everything I make is easy I'm telling you rice cakes with peanut butter and a piece of fruit on top one meal done it's stuff like that and it's very simple and it's you know it's easy go-to stuff because when I have a baby a very needy baby who needs my attention I can't go in there and I can't spend an hour cooking you know I need stuff that's already done already made and if it's right in front of me it makes it easier for me just to grab it and go I'm here if you guys have any questions I can go into depth on anything else further if you guys need it and again, if you've just had a baby and you're trying to recover and everything, don't focus so much on needing that body change as soon as possible. It took me, you know, 9, 12 months to get to where I was. And, you know, that's understandable and that's something that you should embrace and understand. It's going to take patience. But each time you see, you know, a difference in yourself, you're going to want to keep going and that's where I am. Even with this baby, I'm so excited that that I'll get to transform my body again. That could just be the fitness freak in me, but I'm so excited that I just get to transform myself again. During pregnancy, if you want to eliminate how much work you have to do afterwards, then make sure you're eating healthy during the pregnancy and you're doing the right things. Again, I took walks frequently when I was pregnant with Olivia and I ate pretty healthy, but I also had my Reese's Pieces and my pizza as well, very often. And so you just have to make sure, you know, it's all balanced out and it all works for you.